I will show you how to stop shifting between items in GLPI to find what you are going to work on next. If you're tired of looking into filters, lists, tickets, assets while working on GLPI, and you want to find quickly what you want to work on or what you have to work now, you can use GLPI saved searches feature. Hi. And welcome back to the TechLib YouTube channel. Everyone knows that efficiency is the word of the moment. And GLPI has a feature called Save It Searches or Lists, where you can add your own filters and organize your priorities to look into the things that are important for you at that moment. For example, you need to see the assets that are under warranty or you need to see the top priority tickets to, to work on, or you need to find the categories that need to be updated, for example. For all of these, you can use GLPI Save It Searches to just click on the search that you want to see and then look into the items that you need to watch at that moment. When looking into GLPI, we have here an example of a list of tickets, but every ticket is here. Every ticket that you have access to are going to be here. The same thing for assets. Let's imagine you want to see just some of these assets, but you have here dozens of or thousands of assets here. You can use the lists. All the lists are on top of your GLPI instance. Here, clicking on lists or the star icon and you can choose between the contextual save it searches or the contextual lists here you have the others when you want to see every save it search that you have already created before or the conceptual one that are on the module that you are in so in this example I'm on computers so I'm seeing just the save it searches from computers if I change it to, for example, tickets and click on lists, I will see the tickets lists that I have already created. So let's imagine that I'm on tickets, but I want to see what are the assets that need replacement. I've defined it before the policy that every computer with more than four years in operation needs to be replaced. This is a policy of this company. So I click here on assets do for replacement and I've set the filter that when the startup date of this computer is more than in this case three years, it should be four years, I have to take a look at it and change or replace or recycle this computer. I have to take a look at this or let's say I want to go to high priority unresolved tickets. Again, GLPI will automatically set the filter to to the characteristics priority is at least high or above and the status is not sold so in this scenario i'm seeing all the tickets that are high priority to be solved but artur how do i create a save it search good question so let's imagine that i want to see all the tickets from infrastructure queue i will define before what is the policy for tickets to this queue, to this group, to this team? To be in this example, if the group, the commission group is infrastructure, but not just that, but I want to see every ticket that is for infrastructure and also is not sold because I don't want to see every ticket that is sold. So I will add the status as not sold and search. So right now I'm seeing all the tickets for the infrastructure team and not solve in this entity. To create the filter, I will click on this star and give it a name. So infrastructure queue, I will add it not sold tickets, sorry. And then visibility, I will add as public so every technician can use it the entity to be the root entity and child entities. If you have a different scenario where we want to see just the tickets for one entity, you can change it, for example, to HR, and then just the HR users are going to use this saved search. But I'm letting it the root entity, child entities as yes, and I want it to count. So this counting here is the number at the side of the list 
when we look into it here. So this is the counting that it does. After I create it, I can use this save it search in the future. What is the difference between changing the filters here and using the save it search? I will open GLPI. I need to see the list of tickets that I have to work on. So let's imagine that I want to see all the reopened tickets. I'll click on reopen tickets and right now all the tickets that were reopened before will appear here. Or let's imagine that I want to open GLPI and see all the tickets that are pending customer feedback. I just click here and I will see just the tickets that are pending user feedback. And with saved searches, you can also set some alerts depending on the automatic action. You will receive a notification about those automatic search. You can list the tickets that are unresolved or regarding that saved search. Just clicking on tools, save it searches. And here you can see the list of saved searches that you are going to have here. Then you click on the, on the saved search that you want to change and create an alert. So once you've created the notification, you can see it on notifications, notifications. You have here the save it search created and you can add a template to this save it search. What about creating a save it search for tickets that breached the SLA or are on the developer's queue? Are tickets pending waiting for a user to answer some questions? You can create it. Which save it searches are you going to create in your GLPI instance?